Wisconsin's mask mandate struck down. I'm Matt Smith today on Upfront. The state is now a patchwork of local mask mandates or none at all. Milwaukee Health Commissioner Kirsten Johnson on how this will affect the COVID-19 fight. Plus, how churches have fared during the pandemic. Faith, religion becomes a glue for us uh, to make sure that we understand that there's something larger that calls us to be responsible to, to one another. And an Easter Sunday message of hope from Archbishop Jerome Listecki. Taking on the issues important to Wisconsin. This is Upfront with your host, Adrian Pedersen. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Smith in this week for Adrian. Governor Evers has lost one of his last tools to fight the spread of coronavirus. The state Supreme Court last week struck down the statewide mask mandate, saying Evers' public health emergency order is valid for 60 days and can't be extended without the approval of the legislature. This comes as COVID-19 variants are spreading and vaccinations will be available to everyone 16 and older beginning tomorrow. Local mask mandates remain in effect including in the city of Milwaukee. We're talking now with Milwaukee's Health Commissioner Kirsten Johnson. Commissioner, good to see you. Thanks for your time today. We are now merely just hours away from wide open eligibility. How much frustration do you think there's going to be in, in these first few days for people trying to get those appointments for the vaccine? So I think there will be greater demand. Um, so there will be some level of frustration. Hopefully we work through that pretty quickly um, into the first week. Uh, you know, we've had we've had availability at the Wisconsin Center pretty pretty steadily. Um, so I would imagine we're going to fill up a little bit more quickly. But want to encourage people to just keep trying that we are doing making every effort to make more vaccine available, and we actually have more vaccine coming into the city of Milwaukee in the coming weeks. So hopefully we'll get shots into everyone's arms. In, in the city of Milwaukee, how long do you anticipate now before everyone who wants a shot will actually have that first shot in their arm? That's a really good question. I don't have an estimate of when everyone would get a shot, but I think we are hoping within the next eight weeks that everyone who wants it has access. We learned this past week that the Wisconsin Center will become a federal vaccination clinic beginning on Tuesday. The state and federal government is promising 3,000 shots a day. How fast will that happen? So it's happening immediately. So starting on April 6th, we are going to have those 3,000 shots available to the city, to at the Wisconsin Center for anyone who lives, um, goes to school or works in Wisconsin. So we're excited that that additional vaccine is available. And it's very timely given the, that it's opened up. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you have any concerns with the federal government taking over this site? And, and what are the benefits to having FEMA run this? Right, no, actually we're quite excited. We're really grateful that the White House and the state and FEMA have um, approached us with this opportunity. It's a pilot site. We're working very closely with them. So we are still managing the site, um, but they are sending federal human resources and the vaccine, which I really think is a benefit to our city. There seems to be a race at the same time as vaccinations are increasing. There seems to be a race against the variants and rising case numbers. As we sit here at this hour, what is your biggest concern? I'm really hopeful that this we're starting to see an increase in numbers. We've seen that over the last week and a half or so, increased number of cases. I'm very hopeful that this is just a blip and not a spike. It's it's a little it's um it's sort of leveled out a little bit over the last three days. I'm hopeful that that continues. I'm just fearful that people are assuming that it's over since vaccine is becoming more available. I just want people to continue to exercise caution, you know, wear masks and just be careful. The city has indicated that it may have to reinstate some of the restrictions that, that have been loosened or, or taken away. How serious are, are those conversations and, and how fast could something like that happen? Mm -hmm. Sure. So our orders, um, we review every four weeks. So the first time those restrictions would be potentially reinstated would be uh, the week of April 18th. Our hope and intention is that we don't have to restrict. Um, we don't have to go back to a more restrictive order. Again, we're really watching that data. The data is telling us what we do and all that information is available on our website. So for business owners, restaurants, individuals who are concerned about what might happen in the next coming weeks, we've laid it out quite clearly if you go to the um, Milwaukee Health Department website. Yeah, I was going to say, for, for, for some of the big entities like MPS returning to the classroom, the Brewers, the Bucks, could that have a potential impact on them? No. So the Brewers and the Bucks, for example, have safety plans in place. Similarly, most restaurants and bars in the city of Milwaukee have safety plans in place that um, supersede any order that's in place. So they, you know, we've reviewed their plans. We've deemed them safe. They will continue to operate as we've approved. Um, MPS, similarly, our orders very closely follow the CDC guidance. And even if we go back in our orders, the school safety plans that are in place would continue to move forward. So no, there will not be any change to schools, private or, or public. The state Supreme Court 
overturn the statewide mask mandate this past week. The city of Milwaukee, other municipalities have their own in place. How long will Milwaukee's be in, in place? And, and is there a greater impact across the state that you anticipate with the court ruling? Sure. So uh, Milwaukee's ordinance will stay in place until we feel it's safe to, to take it to remove it. Um, as long as we are continuing to have orders in place and as long as we continue to see ca cases in our city, there will be a mask ordinance in place. I am concerned that we'll see increases across the state. Similarly, this unfortunately aligns with exactly as we're seeing variants um, and more increasing number of variants in, in Wisconsin. So I am concerned for communities that don't have a mask ordinance in place, but I, in terms of the city of Milwaukee, um, it really doesn't change anything for us. And I'm hopeful continue, people continue to uh, follow that the, the ordinance. That Will exists. enforcement at all change from, from the city's perspective? Did you anticipate it'll be harder to enforce a mask mandate without the backup from the state? That's a great question. I don't think it will be hard to, inf to enforce in the places where people who live in the city of Milwaukee continue to go or continue to frequent, like our coffee shops, our restaurants, bars. This is just, this is how we've been operating for an entire year. I think people are very comfortable. Um, I do think it'll be a little bit more challenging in the places where people are coming from outside of this, outside of the county and outside of the city. There was some news this past week from Johnson & Johnson that up to 15 million doses were ruined. Any idea if that has any impact for the state of Wisconsin here in Milwaukee and the supply we're receiving? So I'm not sure what that means for us exactly. I saw that as well this morning. I mean, that is concerning. We've really had success using the Johnson & Johnson vaccine on our mobile sites, um, in our shelters. It's a great option for us because this is, it's one dose. It's a lot easier to administer. Um, so I'm not sure how that's going to impact us directly. Um, I hopeful it doesn't, but it's certainly disappointing. Milwaukee Health Commissioner Kirsten Johnson, best of luck to you in, in a very busy week ahead, and thanks for your time. Thank you very much for having me. Coming up, the pandemic and parishes. I'll talk with the Archbishop Jerome Listecki about how churches are hanging on, and we'll hear his Easter message next.